At long last, after seven failed raids, the bronze watch is finally mine. <laughs> Prapper's gonna be so happy with me. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Oh, you mother. Poor level three, just trying to do his tasks. Well, welcome to Tarkov, kid. Just a second. You weren't gonna take his end. Oh, were you? I mean, I was planning on it. Why, just look at the poor man. He obviously needs his rifle far more than you do. Don't you remember how harsh Tarkov was when you were new? Oh, uh... <clears throat> Opachki? Come on, dude, I don't even have a gun. We got a fucking rat. Kill him! You know, maybe you're right. I'm gonna go find a good bush to dump his gun in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not actually gonna listen to this clown, are you? That's your M4 now. No, no, no. He's already made up his mind. He's going to do the right thing. Oh, come on! You're not seriously gonna listen to this sanctimonious Boy Scout, are you? Tarkov is a sad and scary place, my friend. And this PMC needs all the help they can oh. get. Do you truly lack the Hey, understanding? Mother Teresa! Yeah, I think I just saw a couple player scouts shooting each other back that way. Oh, scout violence? Not on my watch. So you're taking the M4, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was also going to message him and tell him that I banged his mom. <laughs> Jeez, dude, what the hell's the matter with you? People say I'm toxic. Haha! -ha. Score! <laughs> Can you believe that somebody would throw away a perfectly good M4? Well, to be fair, the M4 has kind of been a bit of a worthless piece of shit over the past few wipes. But that all changed recently when the good folks over at Battlestate Games stopped patting themselves on their collective back long enough to hear the plights of us unwashed savages. High on that list of plights was Tarkov's horrendous recoil mechanic. A mechanic which single-handedly brought about the downfall of the mighty M4. Thankfully, the developers took this criticism on the chin, and they devoted their time, energy, and resources into fixing this fundamental gameplay issue. But that's not even the best part. In this same update, BSG also gave us a new muzzle device! <laughs> Fuck you, Nikita. Finally, our physically elite and highly trained PMCs are now stronger than the average fourth grader. Now, they don't shake and shudder like Michael J. Fox in an ice bath, when shooting intermediate caliber rifles. And it seems as though the Tarkov community overwhelmingly agrees that these changes were positive. No, 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 that's horse shit. Grandpa, how'd you get out of the nursing home? Back in my day, you could spend all your allowance money on stocks and muscle devices, but the M4 still recoiled like a jackhammer. Oh, things used to be more realistic around here. How is that realistic? 5.56 five, is a fairly weak cartridge. It shouldn't have that much re- You're not fooling me, Sonny. I'll watch the evening news. I know that 5.56 five, five, is a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, this neighborhood used to be safe before all you millennials moved in with your rap music and complained into Nikita. I don't think I'm technically a millennial. Oh, God. Am I a millennial? By God, I miss those good old days. 
you know, things were so much better when the M4 was garbage. You couldn't carry more than 16 pounds and, uh, and women couldn't vote. Okay, Granddad, we better get you back to the retirement home before Jeopardy starts. Yeah. Alex Trebek, what a pussy. Uh-huh, yep, just back that way. No, no, use the stairs. Talk about some awful takes. Well, except that part about women voting. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> no, please, God, don't cancel me. I need this channel to survive. But a meta gun without good ammo is like Lance Armstrong without steroids. It's weak, it's sad, and it's got no balls. What? Really? Well, I'm being told that Lance Armstrong still has one testicle, but the point remains. This gun is only as good as the ammo you put through it. For that reason, you're not going to want to use anything that falls below this line. This right here is M855. This is the bare minimum for usability in the M4. And if you play as a USEC, you start out your wipe with a stash full of this stuff. Which is fitting, because after the first couple days of the wipe, this shit's only good for killing Timmies and scabs. Next up, we get a direct upgrade with M856A1. With slightly higher damage and a decent chance at penetrating level 4 armor, the only real downside to this ammo is that it's a tracer. And moving up a notch, we have... Mwah! M855A1. And while admittedly early on in the game, this round is pretty hard to get your hands on, and even when you can get your hands on it, it tends to be pretty expensive, it's worth it, because 855A1 forms the perfect middle ground for the 5.56 caliber. M995 and SSAAP are both proof that armor penetration is not everything. At 53 pen and 57 pen respectively, and 42 damage and 38 damage respectively, both of these rounds are more than capable of penetrating, but the results of that penetration are going to be very disappointing. And now you know how your ex-wife feels. You can think of it like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hmm, this Porsche doesn't have high enough armor pen. Hmm, this Porsche does shit flesh damage and it costs more than my mortgage. But this, this Porsche is the perfect choice for popping some bitch ass bear. And then the bears come home from their evening stroll, and now Goldilocks has to go to therapy to forget about the atrocities she committed in the bear's cabin. Yeah, see you make a movie out of that, Disney. So the M4 is decently controllable in full auto. It's got a few really solid ammo choices, and it comes with a pretty reasonable price tag. That's enough to make this gun good. But you know what really makes this gun great? Is the modability. Breaking news! A country on the other side of the earth has oil. Time to do some invading. I mean, liberating. Are your enemies always ambushing you from dark corners? <laughs> Not with the power of 10,000 suns at your disposal. You want to be haunted by the ghost of Eugene Stoner? Eh, who am I to judge? You've always wanted to roleplay as Predator? You got it. Boom! Get fucked, G.I. Joe! My point is, the real reason to use the M4 is for the swag factor. So whatever your style, drip that bad boy out however you like it, and get out there and make some rubles. And make a lot of them, because 855A1 is not cheap.
Goodbye. Oh, God, it's so good. Buenos dias, butt lickers got some news for you. That's right, I'm selling stickers. If you want to check them out, click on that link down in the description. First, we got this gem. It says, Tarkov wipes, but I don't. You know, that way you can express your lack of both a social life and general hygiene with one shitty sticker. Go ahead and slap that one on your locker. The ladies will love it. Next up, we have only scabs. Slap this bad boy on your car bumper. It's awesome. Costs a few bucks, and anyone who takes a cursory glance at the sticker will instantly brand you as a perverted degenerate. It's just like subscribing to an actual OnlyFans account, except you don't get to see any naked ladies. <laughs> what a steal. So if you want to support me, feel free to buy some of my dog shit quality stickers. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching my shitty YouTube video. New video sometime in the very distant future.